Uh, Trent, firstly, um, can we ask about Sonny Bill Williams? He's been in the news a lot the last few days. Um, would you like to have him back at the club? Yeah, of course. Uh, of course we will. I, um, we're sort of down the track with uh, discussions with uh, Sonny and then also, uh, uh, yeah, just some things. Obviously, I think it's been well reported. There's a, a few things to get done to, to get it sorted, but uh, conversations are clear and, um, yeah, they're just the more the details to get sorted uh, with how it's all going to work. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's, um, he's 34 years of age now. Some people have raised questions about whether he would be as effective as what he was last time. Do you still think he has a lot to offer the club? Yeah, I think a couple of things. He's a, uh, uh, he knows our, uh, our people and our style of play. Things haven't changed. Uh, we've evolved that. Uh, he knows that um, by watching us, but he also feels our style of play still. Uh, he knows the people in the place. A lot of our senior players were his teammates. Uh, and uh, and he's a you know he's a rooster and he's going to add value uh, in, in some really key areas. So um, you know that's a fair way down the track, but they're the reasons why um, we'd like to have him here. Obviously, with uh, with the sad news with Toronto and, and what's happened with with COVID and and the restrictions on their uh, season and visas and being able to go in and out of the country and crowds, um, it's had a big effect on rugby league not only here but in the northern hemisphere so uh, that's opened the opportunity Robbo is it fair to say that you're probably going to get more from Sonny off the field than on it I'm a little bit concerned mate that after six years how Sonny comes just drops into your system we know how many rule changes the game's gone through um, and I have total respect for him as an athlete I have total respect for you as a coach and the Roosters system, but I'm, I'm really interested to see how you can just drop a player in that hasn't played NRL for six years into your, into your team and expect the sunny Bill standard. Yeah, Dave, I think um, that's a fair question and um, I'm not going to go into it all, but we've talked about all of that. We've talked about every bit of that um, and been really honest uh, with each other. Uh, but th a couple of things I know, I know the value of him, uh, as you said, uh, about the professionalism and the mentality of, of him as a person. Uh, and then um, we understand that it's a big task, but he's a guy that's, uh, that loves taking on big challenges. And also, um, uh, I won't be capping him on, on what his ability is. Uh, uh, to do things uh, may be uh, for this season. So uh, I think they're all relevant points, Dave, and I, I, I don't think um, um, we've talked about them, but we're also looking forward to a challenge of, of adding value. We're not uh, looking uh, for anything spectacular, um, although he's capable of it. We're looking for uh, a guy to add value to our squad. Yeah, so look, the earliest I think travel will be will be. Including a grand final. I like your thought there, Dave. Um, so uh, I think obviously uh, travel won't be until next week. You know, it's hard to to get flights to to fly back, uh, and then the quarantine period, and then a training period. So. Um, you know, it is going to be uh, towards the back end, sort of five to four games to go, uh, would be the earliest, I would think. Well, would you feel for a player who has been there from the start of this season, done pre-season with you, but then would have to make way for Sunny to come in right at the end of the season, you know, right, right when um, you know, the competition's heading towards the pointy end? Yeah, I think, Luke, uh, again, fair question, but I think that's, um, uh, you know, I think we're assuming how things will be in six weeks' time. Um, uh, you can see it now that teams are adding value to their squads. Uh, the attrition of the year um, is quite clear uh, and you look forward to the challenges of that. Um, and this is what, um, you know, good management uh, needs to do to look at 
you know, another 10 rounds plus final series, that's, uh, uh, it's pretty clear. So look, there's obviously the squad's really important. This wasn't done without consulting um, the captains of our club as well. Uh, so uh, all of their, their fair points, but our, our job's to add value to the Roosters. Robert, there's obviously so many um, hoops that you need to jump through for, in order for this to happen. Do you expect any answers on, on some of those questions in the coming days or when do you think that they might be resolved? Yeah, I, I'd expect their answers in, in the next few days. Obviously with, um, yeah, with different things like um, border um, entry and, 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 and you know, how those things are going to work in getting back into the country. And then obviously with, um, like a, we, we're going to obviously only focus on Sunny there, but there's obviously four or five guys with that Toronto. So it's really unique. A team's going to actually, they haven't folded, they're going to continue to play or they want to continue to play next year, but they've got players that are without a job for the rest of the season because of circumstances. So how are four or five of those players going to be able to continue to apply their trade if they want to come back to Australia? Not just Sonny, but other players. Um, so it's quite unique um, and we want to offer the possibility. And no one's seen this before where you've got a team that's in a comp it's outside of Europe playing in a European competition and then all the restrictions that go with travel. It's just it's, it's not viable, as uh, their chairman has said, an owner. Um, so what are we, you know, going to allow that, what are we going to allow to do for those players? Um, yeah, so all of that stuff has to get sorted out in the next, uh, uh, the next week. Nathan, he's able to come, if he's able to come back in and then quarantine for 14 days, just the, the 14 day isolation, is he confident that there'd be enough training and things like that, like he could stay fit in that two weeks of quarantine? Yeah, so Pam, I'm, um, it's a task that other people have done. I think we've obviously seen uh, Luke from the Bulldogs uh, come and do that. Um, I'm confident in uh, the mentality and the ability of Sonny. Um, and then that's about uh, our uh, management of him during that time and himself, and then obviously how we prepare him post that. Um, but you know, that's all after a few steps to take place. Um, but yeah, we've got to be prepared, so we've, we've started that. Robo, has your HP staff got any uh, benchmark measurements from Sonny's training at, in Toronto that indicates that uh, his, his fitness remains at, 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 a, at, at the highest level? Uh, we've had, uh, they've had a conversation with him um, yesterday about that, so they know him. Uh, they've continued to train him at different times uh, over the past few years as well. Uh, so they know him uh, well. Uh, our strength trainer trained him before he went to Toronto the last time. So uh, that contact's still been there. So that's why um, that familiarity with us and, and both on field and both our training is there. Play on next season as well, Robert? Not that I know of, Dave. Not n none of those discussions have uh, uh, have taken place. I'd say the focus is on going back to Toronto for for 2021 um, when they're uh, obviously they're waiting on a ruling, as far as I know, with Super League uh, about what they look like for 2021. So I think um, those players want to continue to honour those contracts. Just on tomorrow, Robbo, um, you guys have lost two of the last three. They were great games, close games against good teams, but have you had to impress on the boys just how tight this competition is? It's a shortened competition and there's, there's no more time to sort of, you know, waste. Yeah, we uh, picked up our lessons uh, from the last month of footy. Uh, we feel like we've been uh, very focused and dialled into the way that we want to play. Uh, we felt like we got some lessons we needed to improve on. Uh, over the last three weeks especially uh, and uh, we've had time to sort of reflect on that, talk about it and go about training it. So uh, uh, we want to improve definitely tomorrow and we're really focused on that uh, to go up there and, uh, and, and move forward uh, in the way that we want to uh, against the Warriors.
Robo, it's Alicia from NL.com. Just on the Warriors, Todd Payton's been pretty vocal this week about um, a lot of NRL clubs not offering uh, quality players to them. Has that been a little bit disappointing? I know you, you offered Pulasa for a couple of weeks there, but had to bring him back um, just in general, just to help them out. They're obviously losing a couple more next week. Yeah, I think... Uh... I think it's a real positive. It was a very much a positive for us for Poasa to go up there and play, uh, and then obviously uh, we are, we've had another one that um, couldn't work out for family reasons. So I think um, we see it as a benefit um, for both uh, them and the Roosters as well. So um, I guess that hasn't been the case with us, um, uh, but yeah, obviously if he feels that way, then um, you know I, I don't think allowing those players not to play, uh, to offering them NRL experience is, is really vital. So uh, obviously they, they feel like they'll probably need that um, after this weekend. Any other questions, guys? Just one more. Um, hi, sorry, Nathan from Sporting News here. Uh, Nat Butcher coming into the lineup. Uh, how's he recovered from the rib injury? Yeah, Nat's uh, strong. Uh, He's been able to recover that he was sort of carry, carrying that for sort of four to five weeks. Um, so, uh, yeah, Nat's focused and, and, and ready to go.